Hello everyone, we've been uploading a lot of videos recently on how to find the inverse of a function, whether that be a linear, a quadratic, a cubic, or a radical function. And so we're gonna kinda cap off our little unit here on inverses, talking about how can we verify if functions are inverses. So let's just say we have f and g, and they are inverse functions. Well, if the f of a is equal to b, then we would know the g of b is equal to a, so we just switch the roles of x and y, right? So in general, we could say the f of the g of x should simplify to just x. And similarly, the g of the f of x should also simplify to x. So we're gonna look at a couple examples today in this video where we verify if functions are inverses or not. So example number one, we have f of x equals two x plus four, and we have g of x equals x minus four divided by two. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find the f of the g of x. Okay, so now I'm gonna say the f of, and the g of x is right here, so that would be x minus four divided by two. So now what I'm gonna do with that is, I, is I'm gonna plug that expression in for x into my f of x function. So now we get two times x minus four divided by two plus four, okay? So now here we know this two right here would cancel with that two, so that would leave us with x minus four plus four, and then minus four plus four would cancel out and we're left with just x, right? So that's kind of what we're trying to see here when we evaluate these to verify them is that when we simplify everything down, we're left with just x. Okay, so now on the right side, let's do the g of the f of x. So now we're gonna find the g of two x plus four. Okay, so now we take two x plus four and we're gonna plug it in right there for x. So this is gonna be two x plus four minus four divided by two. Well, two x plus four minus four, so plus four and minus four is gonna cancel, so we're left with two x divided by two, and two x divided by two would leave us with just x. So we verified that those two functions are in fact inverses. All right, let's do one more. Uh, so now we have f of x equals the fifth root of x plus nine divided by five, and we have g of x equals five x to the fifth minus nine. So once again, let's start off and find the f of the g of x. Okay, so we're gonna find the f of five x to the fifth minus nine. So now let's take that and we're gonna plug it in right here for x. And so we get the fifth root of, and now we have five x to the fifth minus nine plus nine divided by five. Okay, well up here in the numerator we have uh, minus nine plus nine, so those are gonna cancel. So now we have the fifth root of five x to the fifth divided by five. Well now we have five divided by five, so that's gonna cancel out. So now we have the fifth root of x to the fifth, and we know that those would be inverses as well, and so we're left with x. So we ended with x, we verified it. Now let's do it with the other one, and then we will cap this video off. So now we're gonna find the g of the f of x, so now that's gonna be the g of the fifth root of x plus nine divided by five. Okay, so now we're gonna take that and we're gonna plug it in right here for x in my g of x equation. So now this is gonna be five and then times the fifth root, fifth root of x plus nine divided by five to the fifth power and then minus nine, okay? All right, so Start off here and we can evaluate, so we know that the fifth root to the fifth power, that's gonna cancel out, so we're left with five, now times x plus nine divided by five, minus nine. So now we have five times, or we have a divided by five and a times five, so those will cancel. So now we're left with x plus nine minus nine, and nine minus nine gives us zero, and we're left with x, okay? And so we finish with x, and we're good. So that's how you can verify if functions are inverses.